What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. So this past few years a lot of cool new gaming accessories has come out, basically making them standard like RGB and mechanical keyboards. But one item that I still think needs to become a standard is gaming chairs. Most of us, we still sit on our boring old chair that we got in a back alley somewhere, but that's where Corsair wants to change it up a bit. So Corsair has brought out their new T1 race gaming chairs, and that's what today's review is going to be about. So let's find out how good the Corsair's T1 race gaming chairs are. So let's start with the review. When getting in the T1, make sure you're able to carry the box because it is quite heavy and bulky. So just to be safe, get a friend to help you carry the T1 to where you can assemble it. But luckily, the build process is very simple. Everything fits into each other very nicely. But if you're not sure of something, just look at the manual and it'll show you all the steps. Also, just some quick information about the T1. The model I have here retails for about $350 or 4,600 Rand on Reveltech here in South Africa. It has a max carry weight of 120 kilograms or 265 pounds and comes out in full black, black and blue, black and red, black and yellow, and then black and white. So you do have a nice variety to choose from to fit your gaming setup. Corsair went with a cool carbon fiber pattern for the T1 and I have to say it looks very nice. It truly makes the chair look like a racing seat. As for the materials they use, the padding is polyurethane foam that is quite firm. It's not as soft as most chairs, but I kind of like it. It helps support your body a lot more, which is the main focus of a chair. Also, the foam does soften up after a while to fit to your body. The leather used to cover the foam is nice and soft to the touch and does not get sticky when gaming for a long period of time on a hot day. This is something I used to hate of my old chair. Now, because I have the full black model, I can't really show you the different secondary colors on the chairs. But if you do get one of the others, you will have a secondary color on the sides, at the headpiece, and then also the diamond-shaped stitching will also be in the secondary color. But the full black is the best neutral color if you do not have a fixed theme for your setup. You also get the Corsair logo at the front and at the back of the headrest, with the front one being embossed and the back a cool white to show off the branding. But now, of course, the main focus of a chair is the comfortability, and the T1 does have you covered there. Like I mentioned, the foam is quite firm, but that just helps with ergonomics. The support it delivers to your back is exceptional with or without the lumbar pillow. So with that being said, you also get a head and lumbar pillow that is going to help support your back and your neck to prevent any strain. But if you do not like them, you can always remove them. Like I removed both of the pillows and found that to be most comfortable for me. Also, when you remove the pillows, you sit a lot deeper into the chair, which makes it feel even more like a racing seat. Also, if you were wondering if you can put your legs on the chair for a different seating position, you can probably do it if you're small, but I found it to be very hard because of the support against the sides. But now, let's check out all the adjustments you can do with the T1. Firstly, you have your standard up and down adjustments, but what's really cool is that the backrest can decline down to 180 degrees. You won't ever really go that low, but the lower angle did make it nice to lay back and watch movies on the TV against the wall. You are also able to adjust the armrest almost any way you want. You are able to adjust up and down, forwards and backwards, closer or further away from your body, and then swivel left or right as well. And if you really wanted to, you can remove them as well, so you do have enough adjustability to get it perfect for you. The armrest does also have a cool 3D printed texture on top and is made out of plastic but does have a rubberized coating to give it a bit softer feeling. The top of the armrest does wobble around a bit but I found this to be a thing with most of the gaming chairs because of all the adjustments you get for the armrest. But the entire armrest does feel very strong and do support your elbows very nicely. Next up, let's look at how the T1 moves around. The T1 has 5 big nylon wheels that makes it easy to move around on almost any surface. Also, if you have something lying on the floor like a cable, the T1 will have no problem moving over it. This is actually something I came across a lot because of my small room, so it's nice to be able to move around freely. So in the end, what do I think of the T1? 
Well, after using the T1 for two weeks, writing reviews, watching movies, and playing some games, I can definitely say it's worth the $350 investment. The support delivered to your bag, combined with all the adjustment ability, truly makes the T1 a must-have, plus it looks very cool. But now, of course, I have to give my good and bad comments about the T1. Firstly, the good ones which is it's very comfortable, the design is very nice, it looks very cool as well, the big wheels makes it easy to move around, and then the four-way adjustable armrest, which is very nice. But now for the bad ones, I only have two though. The first one is being the wobbly armrest, and like I did say, this is a problem with most gaming chairs, so I'm okay with that. The second one is kind of a bit stupid, but I will mention it. I had some trouble with the covers on the declining arms. I found them to be difficult to click in and they did get loose after a while again. So this could just be me not knowing how to properly assemble a chair, but this is a problem I ran into. But other than those two small things, the T1 is perfect for me. And because of that, the T1 is going to be my personal new chair. But just a last quick mention, one thing Corsair can really add just to make the T1 even better is RGB of course. And that's it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, a big thanks to Corsair for sponsoring the T1 for my setup. It's really going to look awesome with my new PC and everything. So, big thanks to them. Also, if you're looking to buy the T1, you can get it on Rebel Tech. Leave a link in the video description for you guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.